And it's been a month since the Cranston Street Armory shut down its operations as a temporary homeless shelter. Now, question remains, what's next? Providence's mayor says it needs to be revitalized if the city wants to continue to grow. 12 News reporter Erica Ritchie is live in Providence. Erica, the mayor's been talking a lot about making good use of what the city already has. Yeah, Kate, that's right. Let's take the Superman building here in downtown, for example, here. The mayor has been talking quite a bit about using this as an option for housing. Uh, we're going to talk more about that at the top of the hour because right now it is still sitting vacant. Uh, let's talk about the Cranston Street Armory at this time, though, because that is also a building that is an icon in this city that is vacant as well. We've been talking a lot about the armory in the last several months since it opened as a homeless shelter late last year. There was talk about the armory becoming a permanent and shelter, but Housing Secretary Stephen Pryor telling 12 News that wasn't going to happen, saying it was a burden to the neighborhood. Mayor Brett Smiley says something has to be done with it, though, calling it, quote, a critical project in the city's economic development. And in a statement to 12 News, he put the onus on the state to make the first move, saying, quote, we are disappointed the state has not chosen to invest in a productive use, making this an asset for everyone in greater Providence. We will continue working with the state to identify other funds to move this project forward. So the armory is owned by the state, guys, and that's why the mayor is really pressing state officials to do something with the building. It was used for training for the Rhode Island National Guard until the mid-1990s. That's when the state took it over, and that's when uh, it's only been used kind of intermittently for things like mayoral inaugurations, but nothing regularly, certainly not permanently uh, and so that's why the mayor is getting a little bit frustrated because he doesn't want it to fall into disrepair or to uh, not contribute to the city's economic development as he said uh, just as a side note no funds for any redevelopment of that building were included in the current state's proposed budget that's the latest live in providence erica ritchie 12 news